I'm talking today with Abdullah Nasser. He is Chief Engineering and Network Development Officer at Orange Cameroon about network developments in the African Republic. So Abdullah, can you just tell us about what kind of network Orange Cameroon has at the moment? Do you have a lot of 4G sites deployed across the country? Well, actually, the Orange Cameroon is a classic operator, uh, taking the uh, the context of having 2G sites, 3G sites, and 4G sites. Recently, early 2017, uh, we had the chance to launch our network, 4G network. And in fact, actually, we are the biggest investor in the country in terms of technology, and we have we are having the biggest network coverage for 4G, uh, and we are keep growing actually on the 4G side. So Abdallah, can you just tell me about the progress you've made during the past three or four years at Orange Cameroon? So I've started with Orange since 2018 and uh, immediately uh, from the beginning, uh, we put in place a new mechanism work uh, with Nokia. We looked into all the aspects of the network. We looked into all the contractual aspects of the network and the flexibility that Nokia was showing really helped me personally and helped the operation to grow more and to grow fast. So between uh, the idea and the way we are changing the work and the flexibility that Nokia was showing, Orange Cameroon was nominated uh, as the best network performing network in 2019, uh, late 2019. And also it was nominated as the best network coverage uh, the first half of 2020. So the best network performing network, it was nominated by NPERF and the best network coverage, it was nominated by UCLA. So this is exactly the result on how we are maintaining and how we are working. And this is the level of relation we are having with Nokia. And in particular, what kind of capabilities has Nokia helped to introduce into the network at Orange Cameroon? We have to mention beyond capabilities. Uh, the classic vendors always, we mentioned vendors or solution vendors, or partners, the classic way of working is just to put the proposal, negotiate the proposal. What Nokia is showing for Orange Cameroon is beyond proposals, uh, beyond commercial agreements. Uh, they will propose, we will agree, and then they will put more effort to show more capabilities and more flexible in the way they, they, they are working with us. So this is the level of the contribution. This is the level of uh, how Nokia is changing the way of work with us. And have there been any particular technology innovations that have helped you with your strategy? So we put in place a list of what kind of innovation we can bring to the country and to this operation. And the, I can tell you uh, the list is, uh, is an endless list. So let's start. Uh, we did the introduction of the first LTE 700 uh, backhauling technology. This will be the first that will be introduced with Nokia technology based on uh, LTE donor site, LTE 700 megahertz donor site, and an end using uh, macro site. This will be the first test uh, in Africa. This will be the first technology that Nokia will be, will be, will be presenting uh, for, for Orange. Also, we did the LTE 700 fixed broadband. We are trialing this. We will be presenting the technology soon in 2021. This will support more and more the B2B business, the data revenue for Orange Cameroon. What are you able to achieve in terms of service options that set you apart from your competitors in the Cameroon mobile market? It's not only achieving, we are gaining actually. This partnership that you are having with Nokia is giving us the capability uh, to achieve the quality that we need, the quality that we need to serve our, cl our clients with. Uh, and when we talk about the quality, uh, recently Orange Cameroon in 2019 or late 2019 was nominated the best network performing network in Cameroon with NPERF. And also the, the second half of 2020, uh, Orange Cameroon was nominated as the best network coverage in Cameroon with UCLA speed test. And we are keeping ourselves at a level that the others are following us. So uh, this is exactly the level of partnership. This is the level of service that Nokia is contributing into this network. And has that level of quality of service helped you and your customers during this year's COVID-19 pandemic? COVID-19 changed a lot of things, including the way we invest, the way we operate, 
and the way we monitor our network. Nokia, with the support and uh, with the level of contribution giving and presenting and supporting us with, uh, helped us too much to sustain a certain quality level, to sustain a certain quality of service that we are giving to our customers. The service that Nokia is putting, the quality that Nokia is putting and contributing with us, and this is exactly what made us pass from the uh, from unorganized uh, uh, unorganized operation when the COVID started to be very well sustained in terms of the quality to pass this period. Overall, what would you say that your experience of working with Nokia has been? It sounds like you're a, a very satisfied customer. Well, it's a, it's a different experience. It's uh, uh, we've been talking and we will continue talking Nokia as a partner. So when you mentioned the partner and strategic partner, def- definitely the relation is uncomparable with the others. Uh, uh, partnership is, is maybe part of the, uh, the big picture that we are showing about Nokia and the contribution of Nokia uh, in our network. So the relation is, uh, is beyond commercial deals, is beyond technical deals, uh, is a real partner. They are really involved in each and every uh, corner in our network. They are really involved into supporting the quality of the network. So this is exactly our relation with Nokia. Uh, And finally, uh, what kind of plans do you have for 2021 and beyond? Uh, When we talk beyond, we talk about the five years plan. Uh, This is exactly Orange. This is the the way that Orange operates. We always look into five five years plan. We engage our vendors uh, and the main vendors, vendor definitely when we talk, this is Nokia. Uh, Nokia is fully engaged into our five years plan. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, in the creation back in the creation of Orange, starting 2G, then operating on a 3G, 4G, launching recently, uh, late 20, 2019, the 4G Plus. Right now, we are working with Nokia to present the first MIMO 4x4 into the country, preparing the floor uh, for bigger and higher technology, higher speed on the network. So this is exactly what we are preparing with Nokia. It's too early to talk about the 5G. But the way we are working with Nokia, the way we are preparing the infrastructure of our operation here, this will allow us for the early 5G entry in the, in the continent. Abdallah, thanks very much for joining us today.